What is going on guys, DBG here and today we're going to be talking about the brand new set in NBA 2K20 for my team lads. We're going to be talking about the iconic set and you know what lads, we, we're going to be talking about the possibility of having to gamble for the bald gambler himself. Um... But yeah, so these are the cards. Kevin Love is going to be the uh, the free card. And um, before we go on, if you guys could sub to the channel, that'd be great. I appreciate it. We're not going to 25k. We can hit it by the end of the weekend. That'd be insane. Be absolutely insane. But um, Kevin Love. You know what? He's pretty good. Kevin Love on very quick. Jordan dribble style, the pro two leaner. 50 clutch time wins, you know. <laughs> you know, this might be 6'10". Or 6'8", wow. Man, shrunk two inches. If he was 6'10", I'd be a lot more hyped. He's good, though. He'd be brilliant if he was 6'10". But there is a difference between good, pretty good, and, like, exceptional. And he is in the, um, the pretty good category. So, yeah, um... He is just pretty good. Then we're going to look at the cheap player or the players. 115k, 92 speed, 90 acceleration, 94 three ball. Stats wise, he's perfect. Problem is, normal dribble style, Mikhail Bridges on normal. I don't know how good this release is. I don't know how good this card is in general. Um, because he kind of has everything. Like he, he almost has everything. That's probably the best way to describe it. Like he almost has everything. Because his stats are immaculate. They're absolutely immaculate. His badges are immaculate. One fifth, if this release is good, 115k is not terrible. It's not terrible, lads, if this release ends up being pretty good. But um, I don't hate the card. I just don't think he's particularly great either. Then we got Jeff Green. Uh, 91 speed, 115k, 88 acceleration, 90 mid-range, 88 three ball. 93 lateral, 95 driving dunk. Uh, challenger clamps glove, post lockdown. So he's... He's very, very mediocre. Jeff Green on uh, <coughs> on normal. With a B dribble style? Yeah, no. No, that's all I'm going to say. No. Don't. Just do, do not spend 115k on Jeff Green. Please don't. I'm going to wait for him last because I think he has the potential to be good. Um, look, he's Jason Williams. He sucks. He's a 6-1 point guard. 84k is significantly overpriced for a 6-1 point guard. Like, he's, he's terrible. No defense at all. No anchor. He's absolutely terrible. He's horrific. Hassan Whiteside... The release is unusable. Other than that, he's all right. Like, he's a good interior. But, like, the problem is you're paying 126k for him when you can get this guy for 90k and drop him. And Odin is the same card. They're the same player. They are the exact same player, except Odin actually has a somewhat passable release. They're the same card. And Odin is cheaper and continuously getting cheaper. And also... For 30k, you can get David Robinson. D-Rob is 30k. D-Rob is better than him. I don't make the rules. David Robinson's better. So pointless getting Sam Whiteside. Danny Green at 126k. 88 speed, 8 acceleration, 97 three ball. Perfect defense. Um, The next gen badges have not loaded yet. But I'm guessing he'll still get like right stick ripper and stuff. Pretty good. Honestly, pretty good. What's Booker dribble style, normal two leaner, Danny Green on normal. He's all right. I don't think he's brilliant, but he's all right. He's fine. 126K is an overplay though. But now the one guy that might actually be worth it in France, the one guy that like, this guy might save the set. 126K, six foot 10. Did he get a longer wingspan? Yeah, okay, his wingspan grew an inch. So he has an inch longer wingspan, 92 steel, 93 lateral, 90 driving dunk, 94 three ball, 
92 speed, 92 acceleration, 92 vertical. Um, Franz on normal, Booker dribble style, the normal leaner. All right. Is this the best shooting guard in the game? He might be. He just might be, you know. He just might be. I don't think that's crazy. Like... He sucks on current. I couldn't give a damn about him if he was good or bad on current, honestly. It's the, it's the year of our Lord 2024. Um, This is the only reason to log in today. He has no flaws. Like, yeah, okay, he's got a couple of goal defensive badges, but like he's going to come with right stick ripper. He's got clamps and glow, which are the ones that matter. He might get right stick ripper on Hall of Fame. Speed booster, all the shooting ones, good finishing. 90 driving dunk and his 610 7 1 wingspan shooting guard. Nah, this is this is in that conversation. Pink Diamond Kobe's not better than this card. Like, this is the one guy that you could say is the reason to log in today. And um, we have got Demarcus Cousins, Jordan Dribble Style, Buggy, I'm very quick, normal laner. It is what it is. Pretty good stats wise. If you um wait, did we know we were getting into Marcus Cousins today? Am I missing something? Did we I don't think we knew. Did we know we were getting a buggy? Um Either way, um if you get him if you get him from if you lock in all these and you get him, he's not terrible. Um Brandon Ingram. Ingram, a very quick Booker dribble style. Harden shuffled. Pro 3 leaner, which sucks. Um, he's... Eh. He's... Uh, he's fine. He's fine. Like, not great. Kid. Two, 2K literally... You know for the agendas for these cards, right? For a guaranteed pink diamond. What 2K should do is just put in an agenda for like a Jason Kid. If they don't want to give anyone anyone good for free, just give us like a, a free Opal Jason Kid. He's Jason getting very quick. It's not a good release. Kyrie dribble style is pretty good. He's got the tray behind the back. The D-Row size of perfect defense. Uh, he's just Jason Kidd, so he's not going to be very good. Um, like that's simply put. Will Chamberlain, 76 three ball with his own release. I love how we have the Sam Perkins release, but we haven't had... When was the last time we had Sam Perkins in the game? Was it 2K21? We had 2K21. We had the Sam Perkins start of the year. 2K22, we had Sam Perkins at the start of the year. Oh no, we had Sam Perkins. Why did I think we didn't have Sam Perkins last year? Alright. Either way, uh, is that his normal release? Yeah, so Wilt on very quick with a 76 three ball and normal dribble style. Yeah, he's gonna be uh, fine, I guess. Fine. Clay. Clay on very quick. Steph Curry dribble style. He's got the pro behind the back, the pro leaner. Pro leaner's not good either. Um, very comparable stats to his pink diamond. Yeah, Clay is not going to be that good. Penny gets Penny on quick. Not even Penny on very quick. He only gets Penny on quick, which means if you guys don't know, more than likely we're going to be seeing a Penny Hardaway coming soon. Unless, unless this Clay was on normal, was he? Yeah. Which means we're probably going to see a hundred overall Penny at some stage. Um. Because they need to change something in the sigs. Uh, Jordan. Dribble style is pretty good. Normal leaner. I mean, he's, he's penny. He's fine. And then we got the bald gambler. The bald gambler right here. Uh, MJ on very quick isn't that good a release. Kyrie Irving dribble style. <laughs> really? <laughs> of all the things they changed from MJ, it's the one thing you could argue is perfect. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why? Why you change the dribble style on MJ? What? Either way, like, look, Ky some people prefer Kyrie Irving dribble style to MJ dribble style. I'm a big proponent of MJ still the best dribble style in this game. Um, and they also got rid of the MJ leaner. Oh, we don't even get this. It's all preference. Kyrie, Booker, MJ, it's preference. But they got rid of the MJ leaner. I love the MJ leaner. 
Splash likes Kyrie more, so then it, therefore it's all it's better. Kyrie is pretty good though, I will say. Uh, either way, like Kyrie Pro Two great and MJ MJ again, it's preference. Of course, they take away the two things that like m the only two reasons that I liked. I really like this card here, the MJ Faye and the MJ Dribble Style. Either way, um, he's uh, we're never gonna get the ball gambler. You can gamble for the ball gambler, but you won't get the ball gambler. Um, and yeah, he's uh, this card here. Just get get this card here and ignore everything else. Everything else.